what is up guys Skyler here and uh, thank you all again for 600 it's uh, pretty badass so uh, we're gonna get started with this tutorial uh, just a quick tutorial in Cinema 4D uh, what it is is pretty much just we're gonna be doing some compositing and making uh, text kinda sit in a landscape and it makes it look like it's in an image this is really quick this is not my best work um, let's see here let me see if I have some um, stuff that I like because I've, I've made a couple of them it's probably in this one uh, but I really like doing it it's pretty fun nope not in there yeah um, let's go to Well, ma'am, I do not see it. Oh, here. This is probably my favorite one that you've seen before. Uh, pretty badass. Um, how my name sits in the snow. So right now, we're gonna. I'm gonna do a tutorial on how you can do this and how you can get like the different colors on the uh, letters. So it's kind of a two-in-one. So it's been recording for a minute and a half now, so let's get started. So you want to open up R12 or just Cinema 4D. Uh, some of these might, some of the stuff I'm using might not work for uh, regular Cinema 4D. So um, I'm sorry about that if it doesn't. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to here where it has the lights, and we're gonna make a background. On that background, you want to have an image. Okay. What you do with the image is you uh, you drag it from your desktop to this little icon, and it'll make like a material. Then you click and drag it and drop it on the background. Now you pretty much, you just have here. Let me turn off the render settings. Change this to a random thing. Um, and now you have your basic background. All right. It might not be HD. I didn't. I just picked something random. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go with motor MoGraph or just wherever you want to to get a text. And I'm gonna name the text uh, tutorial. Alright, now that we have that, I'm going to go to Font, Babis, or Babis, and do that. That's like my favorite text. Um, zoom out a little bit. Actually, no, I won't zoom out. You want to make your depth 50, and then you want to go to uh, Caps. Fill a cap on each, and then Convex, two steps. Now, what that will do is it will give you like this cool let me zoom in this cool like two step right here and uh, I know it's kind of self explanatory but you know whatever y'all might need to know so uh, then you're gonna go back to light and click floor now what you want to do with the floor is you're gonna composite it to where it blends in with the actual image itself so you're gonna right click floor cinema 4d tags and go down to compositing once you do that make your on make sure you're on tag and click compositing background and then you want to drag the background material, the uh, image onto it, go to projection and frontal. Now what that'll do is it'll make it blend. Now you cannot even see the floor. But if you move down the tutorial, you can tell that it cuts it in half, which gives you the effect that you're going to be sitting on the floor. All right. And what you want to do now is you want to angle it right to where your floor is on the image to where you can sit your text to make it look like it's actually in the image. So I'm going to scoot this down and I'm going to back it up some. I'm going to make sure it's right on it and I'm going to click the rotation tool and rotate it backwards so you can read it. Kind of rotate it this way. Now what you want to do, since you have that, looks like it's kind of sitting with the slant. All right. What I like to do is go to my lighting kit. I have the HDR light kit. This uh, this might not work for. I've never used it in a regular Cinema 4D, so y'all can try it out. I'm not sure if it'll work, uh, but you can always just give it a little test and see. I'm gonna make three of these lights. Okay. Now I'm gonna straighten this out again and zoom in. Let me render it again. But yeah. Uh, while this is rendering, uh, I'm really happy about my 600 subs. It's pretty big trademark for me. I like it. 
my subs are flying up right now and I'm getting my my active subs back so uh, please guys just keep watching all my videos I'm gonna have a bunch of tutorials and speed arts coming up also check out my Skrillex speed art and my snowy Skylar speed art or the BK Randy speed art uh, those are in a contest for original three media so check that out and I also have to do um, the, the speed art for code Draco so what you want to do now after we're done with that we're gonna add the materials and I'll show you my material settings. Go to your material. You want to have your color on whatever you want. Reflection, put for now. Brightness at 4. And your mix strength at 47. On the blue, you want to put it as a blue. And the same render settings are material settings. Except 13% brightness on your luminance. It gives it that bright look. What you also want to do is you want to click on the blue. Go to selection. Hold shift and press C. And let go shift and press 1. Now what this will do is it will make your edges of tutorial black and that gives it that two tone effect now that you want it to be uh, sitting into the ground and make it look real uh, you want to put some landscapes so let's go to let me find it go to the little cube and press landscape now what you want to do is you want to move it down oh, hold on. I like keeping it on center like Okay, move it down right below your text so it's just sitting right above the uh, ground. Then what I like to do, let me rotate a little bit. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to control CV, that'll paste a new one. CV, that'll paste a new one. And except, you know, just keep pressing CV and scooting it over. Until you're right outside the L. Alright. Now what you see here. Let me render a region so it's faster. Now what you're seeing here. Is you're just seeing the regular color. So you're going to have to composite all of these. So first of all. Drag your uh, image to every single one of them. And to make it easier. Just press control and drag it to the next one. Then you want to highlight all these materials. Go to projection and frontal. And then you want to shift and press all the landscapes, right click, compositing, compositing with the background. Alright guys, well that is actually it. Uh, also, like render settings, if you want good render settings, go to ambient occlusion, click it on, and global illumination. And then I just put the illumination up a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to render this out. And uh, this has been another tutorial from Skylar or to BK Randy's. Uh, please be, uh, be sure to like the video and subscribe. Other than that, guys, it has been great talking to you, and thank you again for 600 subs. Thanks, guys.